The upgrades have stretched not only for Oysin's Bay Garden, um, it has stretched to the fish market, it has stretched to Granny's Car Park, all down at Supercenter. Um, and the umbrellas, even the vendors on the side of the road, the bread people, all of these people are going to benefit from the upgrades. That's President of the Oysin's Bay Garden Association, Kimar Harris, outlining how the $4.7 million will be spent in the area. Finer details for the Oysteins Bay Garden include, but are not limited to upgrades to countertops, extended coverage for stalls, upgrades to the drainage system, the stage and its access road. He says it's a welcome facelift. I took over here four years ago and from the time I took over, we were lobbying for a lot of things. I often say nothing don't happen ever before it's time. And a lot of things that we have been asking for we are grateful for the government and the powers that be for seeing it fit to give our saints a makeover, a lift that all can benefit. So I think that all of the members, both Fish Market or Fisher Folk or Bay Garden and those that benefiting from it on the outskirts are internally happy. And those sentiments have been echoed by long-standing vendors. I've been in the Bay Garden for the past 28 years and beyond. I was actually doing this before 28 years. I was doing it before it became a bear garden. I am very happy and content with the second refurbishment of all these things because this will become the second one. It's actually it's going to help enhance the business financially, mentally and spiritually because we're going to have everything at all these things. So I'm happy with it. I'm third generation so we've been here for the same 28 or more years. It's good that we have this level of investment. I hope eventually there will be ours, that we'll be investing in ourselves. But it's good that they're doing the work. I hope it's not only for World Cup and they do extend it throughout the years, but it's good that they're looking at us small people to invest in. 32 food and 24 craft vendors are based at the Oysteins Bay Garden. And with the investment, some of them will receive free tents. Rianne Phillips, CBC News.